happy holiday spicy welcome back to the channel so today we'll be making fried rice recipe and in this recipe we'll be using a different method we'll add our vegetable oil onto our heated pan because we'll be toasting our rice that's the different method so we'll be adding our blended garlic and ginger paste onto the oil and we'll give it a very good stir and this is we're all doing this on a low heat here yeah. so after uh, um frying our paste we'll be adding our rice our thoroughly washed rice onto the fried ginger and garlic paste because you are infusing the taste of garlic and ginger onto the oil and it gives it a different and really good aroma so you're going to give it a good stir so the rice doesn't burn while you're toasting it and then once we're done toast we'll be adding our chicken broth it depends on the broth you're using you can use any broth of your choice now we're adding our blended green peppers onto it. That scotch bonnet, the unripe one, actually still hot, so that we'll not be using any food coloring. Once you're giving it a good stir, you add your salt to taste. We added two teaspoons of salt to this recipe. This is six cups of rice at 250 grams. Yeah. So now we're we'll adding our bouillon cubes, and then we'll be adding our fried liver and hat onto the mixture the rice mixture adding a cup of water because we'll not be using so much water for this recipe so that the rice does not get soggy look at the level of the water so as time goes on you can now add water if the water is not enough now we'll go on to frying our veggies we've added garlic and ginger paste with onion paste onto the oil and we're adding our kidney beans this is kidney beans for those who have not seen it before this is what they call kidney beans then now we'll be giving it a good stir remember anything you're doing with fried rice it has to be on low heat so it doesn't burn now we're adding our runner bean look at the color it's so colorful and rich continue to give it a good stir add your thyme leaves once you're done adding your thyme leaves, you add your curry powder, add enough of curry powder. It also adds to the color of the food. Once you're done, you add your sweet corn and your green peas and all those is ready. Once your rice is properly cooked, you add all these veggies onto the rice. And then you give it a good stir, still on the very low heat. See how it comes out? You didn't need to add any food coloring. Once you're done stirring all this vegetable into the rice, your fried rice is ready. No stress at all. After this point, you can cover up the pot again if you want the steam to still cook it. And then you get a more beautifully cooked rice fried rice recipe is very easy i hope you learned something from it do well to like share and subscribe bye